Math Expressions Homework and Remembering, Unit 1, Lesson 11. Okay, so let's look at the first one here. The directions ask us to use the benchmarks of 0, 1 half, and 1 whole to estimate the sum or difference, and then find, find the actual sum or difference. So number 1, we have 2 fifths plus four sevenths. All right, let's estimate first. Is two fifths closer to zero, a half, or a whole? Well, we have to think about this. It looks like it's closer to a half because five divided by two is two and a half, so two is close to two and one half, so we're closer to a half here. And then four sevenths, four is half of eight, which seven is close to eight. So this is closer to a half than a whole. So we have a half and a half, so a good estimate for this would be one whole. Now, if we're gonna actually find the sum, we need to do the work. We do not have common denominators. We have a fifths and sevenths. The sevenths are smaller, but more pieces. The fifths are larger and less pieces. So we need to make these the same size pieces. So one of our methods to do that is to multiply by the other denominator. So we're going to do 5 times the other denominator of 7. Do that to the top and bottom. So you have a new fraction of 14. I'm going to write it down here over 5 times 7, 35. Then you add to the next fraction. Multiply 7 by the other denominator, 5. 7 times 5, do the same thing to the top to keep it equal. So 4 times 5 is 20. 7 times 5 is 35. Now we can add across the top. 14 plus 20, 34 over 35. That's your answer for number one. So again, make sure you estimate first, looking at these benchmarks of zero, a half, and a whole, seeing if these fractions are closer to zero, one half, or a whole. Make your estimate, which was one, and our sum was 34 over 35 there. Hopefully this is helpful. Um, we have about three more lessons to our unit test on fractions, so remember to get into Think Central and start using those games as practice, and there's a study guide in there, too, that's going to help you on the test. If you have any questions, make a comment below or send me an email. Have a great day.